that just in the past 12 months, we have seen jobs mentioning GPT surge over 50%. I believe that there will be far greater jobs on the other side of this and that the jobs of today will get better. Is AI going to take away your job? Maybe. <gasps> but for most of us, probably not. But will you have to befriend AI and get comfortable with it in order to keep your job? Definitely. Let me tell you five quick data points to highlight this statement. One, technology giant IBM is going to stop hiring people to fill thousands of roles that can be done by artificial intelligence in the upcoming years. 30% of IBM jobs, which is about 7,800 jobs, will be replaced by AI in the next five years. Second, Amazon has laid off staff from the HR department and they're planning to use AI instead. Even Dropbox is laying off 500 employees as it shifts focus to AI. Three, nearly 69% of jobs in India are under threat due to automation. This at a time when the country has a young workforce and over 150 million new workers will be joining the workforce in the next 20 years. Four, but India's AI opportunity could also create over 9 lakh white collar jobs and millions of other indirect new jobs. So AI is costing jobs, but it's also creating jobs. And five, the Indian job market is expected to grow 22% in the next three to five years, of which the top roles will belong to AI, machine learning and data segments. So what's the story that these five points tell? It says that AI is changing the job market. In fact, soon enough, it could disrupt it. According to a World Economic Forum report, 23% jobs are expected to change in the next five years. 75% of the companies they surveyed are planning to implement AI in their operations. But does it mean that machines are going to take over all our jobs and leave us jobless? No. What it does mean is that we have to upskill and learn how to use these machines in the best possible way in order to stay ahead of the curve. In fact, 60% of workers worldwide will need additional training by 2027. There are parts of a job that are best done by humans and some parts where the machines can help out. GPT-4 and things, other systems like it, uh, are good at doing tasks, not jobs. And so you see already people that are using GPT-4 to do their job much more efficiently. Yes, AI will take away jobs, but not in the way we think it will. Take, for example, the job of a lawyer. AI might help recreate and refashion the job of a lawyer to a more client-facing role than take away the job completely. Most of the routine documentation, simple filing in the court, research for cases will be ideal to be taken over and done by AI. A lot of reports have come out over the last few weeks about the overall impact that AI could have on the job market. But this is about the India-centric view. So the fastest declining roles are the ones which are clerical or secretarial, ones that AI can do, which are the traditional back office roles. So what are the top five skills you will need to ensure that you hold the reins and not the machines? We spoke to a couple of experts and here are the skills they've suggested. One, machine learning. AI and machine learning specialists are basically professionals who design, develop and implement AI and ML systems and apps. They use tools and techniques to analyze data, build models, and optimize algorithms. These are the jobs which are expected to grow at the fastest pace in the next five years. Second is natural language processing, which is the branch of computer science and AI, which deals with giving computers the ability to understand text and spoken words in the same way that human beings can. The third is data science. Data scientists are the experts who collect and process and implement complex data sets to generate insights and solutions for various problems. The jobs related to data analytics and scientists are expected to see a 32% growth in demand by 2023 globally. Computing. AI computing is the math intensive process of calculating the machine learning algorithms which can extract fresh insights from big data sets, learning new skills along the way and robotics, which is the part of AI that helps study the creation of intelligent robots or machines and where machines are built to perform tasks without further human intervention. The AI revolution is one more thing that's going to change the job market. This is comparable to how jobs changed when, say, Google was available on every browser. 
This debate in fact goes back over five centuries ago when the Gutenberg press was invented. People lobbied to delay its introduction thinking that the mechanized printing would put rooms full of people out of work. But the printing press gave rise to thousands of new job functions. So what basically we can do from our end is to upskill. According to the World Economic Forum report, 44% workers need to update their skills to keep their jobs. And the main areas that they need to focus on are AI and analytical thinking. So stop worrying and start checking how you can improve your skill set to harness the advantages that AI can offer. And if you want to look into what are some of the best courses that you can opt for if you want to tap into the AI wave, our expert Rituparna Chakraborty, who is the founder of Team Lease, has listed out some that you can look into. We've mentioned them in the description below. Stay tuned to Money Control for more such content.